I'm sincerely so happy to make content for you. Do you have Ozempic butt? In the meantime, I'm perfectly okay having, you know, a massive forehead. If there was any side effect that made me rethink taking this drug, it would be that one. Hello, hello, ladies and ladies, friends, fans, and frenemies. I'm Miz, this is my channel, and this video is about Munjaro and the most frequently asked questions that I get. I've spent over a year on Munjaro, I've lost over 50 pounds, and I'm currently on a maintenance dose. Using terzepatide has greatly improved my health, and I've been weighing the pros and cons in public. If that interests you, I hope that you'll keep watching. The first Munjaro video I did really resonated with all of you, um, and that resonation has flattered me, and it's also given me a lot of anxiety. Sincerely, thank you so much for watching. That has been my most viewed video, my most commented on video, and I am thrilled about all of the interaction. Apparently, I am not the only middle-aged woman that wants to lose a few pounds and has thyroid issues. It's been great. It's sparked so many questions, not only in the comment section of that video, but in my personal life too. I had a zillion people call me and want to talk about the video and talk about Munjaro. I hope that this video fills in any gaps that I left and and also continues that conversation. I'm sincerely so happy to make content for you. I specifically asked for questions on that video and in this video, I'm going to answer them. And I'm also going to give a detailed update on my own weight loss journey. Let's get started. Oh, but first I can't forget my disclaimer. Everyone's experience is different. My experience is different than yours because our bodies are different. These are cutting edge drugs that fiddle around with your hormones. Your mileage may vary. And I'm so sorry, but you guys have to humor me on a trigger warning too. I can't help myself. In this video, I'm going to be talking about weight loss and my diet. If that triggers you, don't watch. Okay, let's do this. The number one question that I've gotten across the board was, how do I get a coupon for it like you did? How were you able to save money? on this drug. And it's as simple as this. Go to the manufacturer's website and see if you qualify. If you're taking Munjaro, that's Eli Lilly. And if it's Ozempic, you'll want Novo Nordisk. You fill out the form, get the card, and then show it to your pharmacist. That's it. Mine worked for a year before I lost eligibility, but it was great while it lasted. And I heard about that through my pharmacist. There are a ton of programs that lower the cost of prescription medications, and they vary state by state. Talk to your pharmacist. Also, call your insurance company. Talk to them. Ask if they have any programs that are devoted to weight loss or type 2 diabetes prevention. And if you have a membership to Costco or Sam's Club, call them too. Before you fill the prescription, just take some time and figure out what your specific options are. Take some time to investigate and compare and contrast. This is a long-term medication. You have to be prepared and there's no one-stop shop that like consolidates all possible savings. It's kind of something that you need to investigate yourself. So what are your thoughts on compounded medications and what reputable pharmacies do you recommend, if any? I don't have any personal experience with compounding. And if you're not familiar with that, it's when you have an independent pharmacy recreate a name brand medication for you. The goal with that usually is to get a drug at a significantly lower cost. From what I see online, uh, Mujaro and Ozempic are currently running at around $1,000 a month and the compounded version is around 300, 350. So that's a huge difference. But these drug prices are coming down all the time. A year and some months ago when I started taking this medication, the price points were at $1,500 and $500 respectively. So that's a pretty big drop in a short period of time. So if I were in a position where utilizing a compounding pharmacy made the most sense to me, I would first look and see if there was a weight loss clinic or an anti-aging clinic locally that has experience with these drugs, see if there was a doctor that specialized in this sort of treatment and care. And if that wasn't available to me and I had to utilize an online company, I would honestly, I would go with one of the pharmacies that is already attached to an existing weight loss company, just because they already have all of that infrastructure
structure in place. Again, I can't endorse a specific company because I don't have any experience with it at all, but that's what I would do. Another very popular question was, what do you eat? And I'm sure, like most of you, there's no easy answer. I'm all over the map, but I can give you an overview. And another quick disclaimer for those of you investigating Munjaro, I don't think my diet is the best and the appetite suppressant side effects of Munjaro, it makes it hard to even plan meals. But I wanna keep it real with you guys. Uh, right now, my big focus is keeping my calories up, getting fruits and vegetables in, getting protein, in and avoiding saturated fats. It's really boring. It's so boring. I end up drinking a lot of smoothies and protein shakes, and I try to keep protein rich and fiber rich snacks and foods in the house. I make my smoothies from frozen fruit, fresh fruit, nut butters, vegetables, oat milk, and I also order boxes of daily harvest just to get some variety. My protein shake selection varies according to what's on sale, what's available at Costco, what sounds interesting. I get pre-made ones, powder ones. I get them from Factor. I also subscribe to Factor and I get their smallest meal plan weekly. You can let me know if you want a Factor review, but there's already so many on YouTube. I didn't know if I needed to add my voice to that. In addition to that, with regards to home cooked stuff, I eat a lot of eggs, a lot of hash browns, a lot of gluten-free toast. I make a lot of egg salad, boiled eggs with everything bagel seasoning is a perennial favorite, chicken salad, sweet potatoes, fresh fruit. Those are kind of like my staples. I crave yogurt and ice cream intermittently, so those are usually around the house. And if I'm craving something specifically, I'll cook it or order it. I, I don't restrict my diet in any way intentionally. And food still tastes good. I just eat in very small quantities. Going out to eat, I have to really pace myself. I eat a lot of leftovers. And honestly, one of the biggest things I think that people taking this drug don't want to say is uh, it takes away the joy of eating almost completely. Like, for me, eating is not joyful on this drug. If there was any side effect that made me rethink taking this drug, it would be that one. Your mileage may vary. The next question is, did you lose muscle? And do you have ozempic butt? And the answer is yes, in spades. I did not keep up my workouts or my fitness. Early on in my journey, and especially when I was in those plateaus, I did not prioritize working out or eating enough. And my body ate itself. If I could go back and change one thing about this entire process, it would be paying attention to my workouts and staying on top of my nutrition like I am now, I wish I had done that consistently all the way through. I felt unencumbered by the lack of food noise and really leaned into that. And um, I wish I hadn't. So if you're currently on Munjaro and you're like really exhausted, uh, eat more and move more, or I will be very disappointed in you. And you will also have a flat butt like me. And I do. If it was the 90s, I would be on the cover of Sports Illustrated and I would be a Jordash jeans model. But here in the roaring 20s of the new millennium, I just look uh, deflated. It's it's intense. Here, I'll put a video of my flat butt right there. A little before, right? Looks nice. And now after. So get your steps in and get your nutrition in. <laughs> And related to that, plateaus and weight loss stall. Uh, lots of comments about plateaus. You guys, that's going to happen. Bodies are complicated. There are a lot of moving parts. Stay hydrated. Eat your vegetables. Get your steps in and focus on how you're feeling. Uh, numbers are important, but they're not the end-all be-all. Um, I know that it feels like they are the only sign of progress, but they aren't. This, this weight loss, it's one side effect of a drug with a much broader scope and you can't lose sight of that. If it's not working and you're not losing weight and you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing and you're not feeling better, I mean, talk to your doctor. It's not a magic pill. It's a hormone that affects different parts of your very complicated system. Like I said, I, I think that my personal plateaus were 
related to not eating and drinking and moving enough. Get your steps in, get your nutrition in, talk to your doctors, but don't expect a miracle is my two cents. Did you experience hair loss? Yes, but I have experienced hair loss off and on my whole life, which I believe is related to my thyroid issue. But I also know that people that have had weight loss surgery and rapid weight loss in general have thinning hair. My hair is definitely thinned out since starting this health journey with Munjaro. You can see on Instagram, in my videos, and even right now that I have a lot of flyaway hairs, a lot of baby hairs, which is my hair growing back after it's fallen out. I have never tried a hair loss treatment. I've never known anything but having fine, wispy, flyaway hair. So it doesn't bother me too much. If it progressed to like male pattern baldness, I suppose I would just get a topper. But in the meantime, I'm perfectly okay having, you know, a massive forehead and tiny thin little ponytails. So uh, have your antibodies decreased and has your thyroid function improved? I don't know if my thyroid function has improved. My labs with my thyroid values have actually stayed about the same, but I feel so much better. My joint pain has gone down tremendously. My fatigue related to my thyroid has gone down tremendously. I just feel better. I get very frustrated because labs, especially with thyroid values seem to change a lot and often do not match how I'm feeling. So I go on how I feel. I feel better. I feel better. I also got a couple questions on injecting into your arm. Just don't unless you have to, unless that is the only place that you can inject for some reason. It sounds like you functionally can do it, but it hurts the most out of the three suggested areas. And if you do need to inject into your arm, you have to have someone else do it because you can't get behind yourself to inject the medication. So I don't recommend that. And it seems like nobody else does either. When you skipped dosing while on vacation, did you resume your normal dose or go back to 2.5? So I have always been on a low dose. So this hasn't been an issue for me. I'm sorry, I can't be more helpful with this. I got knocked out by nausea and fatigue after every shot for the first three months. So I was super gun shy about increasing my dose. And when I did, I didn't stay there very long before dropping down and moving on to my maintenance schedule. And I don't know what the standard practice is for starting and stopping. I don't even know if there is one yet. I mean, I'm sure one will be developed as time moves forward. I would know what your side effects were and are, what dose you're at. Remember that the drug stays in your system for a minimum of three weeks and work backwards from there. I had to pause my shots about six weeks ago because I was having a breast biopsy and I wasn't sure if I would need surgery when the results came back. So I stopped taking Munjaro and and just an update, I don't need surgery. But I I took that break and I continued to lose weight and I feel like my insides just really started moving again in the last week or two. I mean, this stuff sticks and stays in your body. So if you're gonna go off for vacation or surgery, talk to your doctor. I think it would depend on how hard the side effects hit you. What's your maintenance dose? So my personal maintenance dose is 2.5 every other week. Uh, I've read online that some people do shots once a month. Some people just go back down to a lower dose and still inject weekly. Again, there doesn't seem to be a protocol for this. There's no standard. Next question. What's your current weight? Your numbers don't make sense. What are you hiding? (sighs) There was some commentary confusion about my own weight loss numbers. To be honest with you guys, editing that video, I think I left some chunks of time out and it contributed to it not making sense. It's not my intention to be confusing. And I actually screenshotted my health app so I can show you, you guys can see that my starting weight was at 170.5. And my current weight is 117.8. So that's a total loss of 52.7 pounds. And that equals just under 30% of my original starting weight. And um, here's some other before and afters of me. 
Here you go. And those were all of the frequently asked questions that I had pertaining to Munjaro. Did I miss something that you wanted to know? Is there something that you want even more clarification on? Let me know down below. Once again, I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel. I want to make you happy with this content. You are the wind beneath my wings and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.